is up, Wretched Nation. Today we're in the garage. We got some stuff planned. Uh, if you're watching this right away, Merry Christmas. I'm actually filming this on Christmas. Uh, we got everything finished up and got some free time, so I wanted to go over this. I've been wanting to do it, but I was super busy before and we didn't get a video out to release tomorrow, which is Sunday, uh, when you're going to be watching this. But either way, Merry Christmas. I hope you had a great time with your friends, family, and enjoying the weekend. I hope it was great. But let's get into this new model. Carly released a teaser, I think last week. Um, I've seen it. I got it pulled up on the laptop instead of trying to figure out uh, how to put it up and talk about it and all this kind of stuff. I'm just going to show you right here. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind that. I'm not this huge YouTuber who knows a bunch of stuff. Uh, I don't even have 500 followers, subscribers, whatever you want to call it. But if you don't mind, it's Christmas, hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. But let's check this out. All right, I'm not going to say anything at first. We're just going to watch this. All right, so it says world premiere 126 22. All right, that was just 15 seconds, but a lot was going on. Uh, I didn't even catch some of the stuff at the very when I watched it the very first time. I was wondering when I heard about it, I was thinking it would be one of two things. Uh, at first, I was wondering if they were going to double down on the Revolution Max, but I don't think that's the case. Um, there, you know, been talks about a smaller Revolution motor that we're going to put in the Bronx. And they'd probably detune a little bit and make a smaller Sportster. But they're already cutting two Sportster models. And they're going to come out or just have two going forward. So uh, that's probably not the case. And if you did catch it, it's definitely probably not the case. Because it looks like this bike has speakers. The biggest thing that you could tell for probably what this bike is, is by two things. One, that spoked wheel going around. And then two, those speakers. For me, this has got to be a Lowrider S with an FXRT fairing. That's got to be what it is. Uh, comment down below, what do you think you saw? But it all makes sense. Um, Harley's been trying to do this for years, I feel like. It's either not been the right time or they haven't done it well. Uh, in my opinion, it goes all the way back to the Dyna Switchback. Um, I think the Dyna Switchback was a very weird version. I always thought it was a weird uh, Heritage Softail. Um, it was like a comparison to that or competing with that, but uh, it just didn't. It, it took a more sporty type frame that could have been handled a lot better and just made it super old and grandpa-ish, which the Heritage Softail was already taken care of, so it, it just didn't make any sense. And then fast forward to the Sport Glide, that they're not going to continue with anymore. Um, when the Sport Glide come out, it was a great idea. It took that soft, that new soft tail frame, threw some bags on it, little mini uh, bat wing fairing. The fairing was very easy to come off. I think they did a bad job on the styling of that fairing. I think they wanted to keep it to Harley and have that bat wing, but they shouldn't have done that. I think they should have done more of a. Uh, new style like the Memphis Shades Road Warrior or something. It's a mini one, but something along those lines. But now that bike's gone. So I think this is a Dyna Lowrider S FXRT, whatever the letters are going to be, but basically a touring fairing or whole setup on a Dyna Lowrider S. Hopefully this bike isn't going to be too expensive. I think that's going to be the Achilles heel to this. If they make this too expensive, then I think they probably just need to let it go. Uh, I think it's going to be great, but what this does show is that Harley listens. Harley is listening to their riders, their customers, and they're looking and seeing what people are doing. Uh, these old FXRT bikes, they're popular. Uh, people love them. People are putting these huge fairings on bikes. Both my dealers that are close to me close enough, uh, they are taking Road Kings, putting these big fairings on there. I think one of them, they just put a small fairing. 
But the other one, they went full tilt. They did a full performance Road King. Uh, they did, you know, the short exhaust, T-bars, performance intake. It was their own style. Uh, they did a full fiberglass FXRT ferry. Like full tilt. Uh, they did not have the price on the bike and I did not want to ask and see how expensive that bike was. But there was a full on like awesome bike. Now I know that the Lowrider S does have a better front end. It's a dual uh, brake inverted front end. But it does suck that it's going to have that single shock in the back. Because that Road King set up in the rear is going to be more superior. Uh, I think the best setup you can probably go with is getting a Road King Legends in the rear and doing like a geezer glide setup with inverted fork or down and forks in the front. It's probably the best setup you could have, but it's probably one of the most expensive setups you could have. But regardless, Harley is listening. It looks like they're going to build an FXRT. I'm very curious to see how expensive it is. It does look like it has speakers in it. The Electroglide, which is basically your base bagger, doesn't even have speakers in it. It's I think everything's there to hook everything up if you want to buy speakers and a radio, but it doesn't even come with speakers, and that's like 20 grand. Your Lowrider S is already close to that. So I think this needs to slot under the Road King Special. Uh, comment down below what your thoughts are on that, but I don't know. Um, I think... Harley is definitely shooting for that high tier bracket and only going to want to sell this to the people that have the most money. But it would be interesting to find out if Harley is going to develop. And I think this is where they should really focus on. And I've even said this in older videos. I think they need to focus on getting a bag kit and a front whole fairing kit that can hop between all the soft tail or most of the soft tail models so even if somebody can't afford the big, big fxrt they can buy the parts from harley paint match of course and put them on their older soft tails well at least the, the newer soft tails but the other soft tail models or if somebody's already got the lowrider s soft tail model they can buy these parts and put them on since they didn't get the new bike. Um, I think that's going to be the key for Harley making some money. But I'm stoked on this bike. I'm sure it's going to have the 114. I had the GoPro shut off there, but battery died. Um, but I don't know how performance oriented this bike's going to be. I don't know which route they're going to take. Is it going to be more of that performance style? Is it going to be a little bit more of the touring style? I don't know. Um, honestly, I would definitely have thought about buying this bike if it was available when I got my Road Glide. Uh, the biggest factor for me getting the Road Glide over the Road King was the radio. Uh, you know, I love having a radio on the bike and being able to cruise down the road and just even if you're absolutely thrashing, you still have your favorite tunes, you know, blaring, listening to them as you go down these windy roads or just that long trip down the highway, whatever. It's awesome having that radio. I don't know which way they're going to go. Um, and I don't know which way I would have went if that was available. The only thing about the Road King is the base Road King is just super old man-ish. And the Road King Special was very close to the price of the Road Glide Special when I bought it. So, because mine's an 18. I know their price gap's a little bit different now. But uh, I don't know what I would have bought. It would have been close. But I'm excited. I hope you guys are. We're going to see what Harley's got cooking for us. Uh, if you definitely think of anything, comment down below. Did you see something I missed? Do you have an idea of what it could be or what they could be adding, what they could be doing? Comment down below. I definitely like this video. It helps out so much to push my videos out to other people. And as always, keep it wretched and hit that subscribe button.